Understanding, you're accused of a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive into the fascinating world of the English language and make learning it a breeze for you. Today, we're exploring a phrase that often pops up in legal dramas, news reports, and everyday conversations you're accused of. Understanding this phrase is crucial, as it carries significant implications and nuances. So, let's unravel its meanings, uses, and how you can respond to it in various contexts. Stay tuned! You're accused of is a phrase that immediately sets a serious tone. It means someone alleges or claims that you have done something wrong or illegal. The word, accused, is pivotal here implying that there is an accusation made against you, but it's important to remember, it doesn't mean you're guilty. This phrase often precedes the specific action or behavior you're being accused of, such as, you're accused of stealing, or, you're accused of lying. In a legal context, you're accused of, can initiate formal charges against someone in a court of law. Here, it's more than just a claim, it involves legal processes and can lead to a trial. Understanding your rights in such scenarios is crucial. Conversely, in everyday situations, this phrase might be used more loosely to express that someone believes you did something wrong, without legal implications. For example, a friend might say, you're accused of eating the last piece of cake. It's lighter and often resolved through personal conversation. Responding to, you're accused of, varies by context. If it's a legal accusation, it's wise to remain calm, not admit guilt immediately, and seek legal advice. Protecting your rights and understanding the accusation's gravity is key. In non-legal contexts, a clear and honest response can often resolve the misunderstanding. It's important to listen carefully to the accusation, understand why it's being made, and explain your side of the story respectfully. We hope this video has shed light on the phrase, you're accused of, and its significance in different contexts. Remember, being accused doesn't equate to guilt, and there are ways to navigate these situations both legally and personally. Thank you for watching. And we hope this knowledge empowers you in your journey of mastering the English language. See you in the next video.